My name is Brendan Levasek. I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I just graduated from Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois with a double major in biochemistry and economics. I am on a Fulbright Schumann grant uh, covering organ donation and transplantation in the European Union. I am headquartered at the University of Barcelona, which is one of the EU's official transplant training programs. So physicians are coming from all over Europe to study at Hospital Clinique de Barcelona and learn the Spanish model of transplantation and how to incorporate the practices into their national transplant models. Uh, Fulbright Schumann grant covers the entire European Union and really from my project in particular the depth and wide and variety of the entire European transplant practices. So looking at the allocation models, looking at the legislation regarding transplantation and donation, the different practices and even the physicians themselves will all be very different across the European Union. So it's looking at the infrastructures within those different countries and trying to find the best practices that we can share within the European Union and as well as bring back to the United States to increase our organ donation rate. One of the things that I found most helpful in applying for the Fulbright Schumann Grant was to really pick a specific affiliation organization that would both have a great mentorship experience as well as the international component to your project. So for me, it's a very small office working with very intensely with physicians, surgeons, and the transplant coordinators. As the EU's official transplant training program, they have a lot of organizations throughout the European Union that are able to host me for visits to examine the particular allocation models in that country. So looking at different countries in-house, in their practices, and then applying that to the greater scale of the European Union. So I would say in terms of finding an affiliate organization, both the day-to-day -day practices as well as having something that really gives you a lot of options. One of the things I found most interesting was the changes in the donor characteristic profile. So looking at across both the United States and Europe, changes in donor ages, changes in comorbidities, and really the different practices that are you're able to increase both quality and quantity of organs. And I think that that's one of, as the population grows older, as de demand for organs increases, it's going to be one of the most important concerns that we have going forward in the transplant community. When I go back to the United States, I will be enrolling in medical school and with a special interest in public policy and using my Fulbright Truman experience, the connections that I've made, and really just the entire breadth of this, ex this whole experience that really enables you to make a lasting change in your specific transplant area. Um, for me, that would be increasing the donor rate. Right now, we have 113,000 people on the waiting list and anything that we can do to increase that and provide more life-saving organ transplants.